Good morning, David, and good morning, Mike Rapoli, the CEO and founder of Body Armor. Congrats on the deal. H huge day for you. Thanks for joining us here exclusively. Talk us through what led to today. So Coke bought a, a stake in 2018. You went through the bottling system, and then what? Well, it really starts back in 2011 when we had a, a vision to create a better fruit sport drink than, uh, than Gatorade. And uh, a, a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, Sarah, don't talk about the Bible years, you know, the, the first five years of a company where you basically go from revenue from one to 10 million in five years, and you probably lose 75 million. And then all of a sudden you pick it up and Coke made the investment in 2018 and, uh, Give a ton of credit to James Quincy and John Murphy and Brian Smith and Alfredo Rivera, you know, to, to buy a minority interest and put them in the put it, put it to the bottling system, kind of like a test to see what we can do with these bottlers. And the rest is history. Uh, since we've been in the system, uh, we've gone from 200 million to 450 million to 700 million, and this year will be 1.1 billion in revenue. And the Coca-Cola bottlers have done an amazing, amazing job getting this brand to the next level. So 1.1 billion in revenue this year. How, how fast are you growing? Because the category isn't as exciting, or it hasn't been, as energy drinks or coffee or some of the other fast-growing categories and beverages. You know, it was interesting, Sarah. When we got into this category in 2011, the category was $5 billion. It was stagnant. It was $5 billion for probably the last five or six years. And when I was dumb enough to try to get back into the beverage industry, I wanted to do something epic. I wanted to do something really big. And the category now, 10 years later, is $8.4 billion this year. And I think by 2030, it's going to be a $15 billion category. We've actually helped Pepsi Gatorade because we've added some real competition. And uh, they're growing. We're growing. They came out with Gatorade Zero. And, you know, it's real good Red Sox Yankee rivalry right now. You've got, you've got a lot of big celebrities, which has helped the, the brand grow. What, what else is your edge versus a Gatorade, which, as you say, has been the king of this category and still commands almost 70% share? You know, for me, it's, it's really two things. It's the brand and the people. Um, the brand is, you know, we created a better for you sport drink. That was natural colors, flavors, high electrolytes, 10% coconut water, potassium-packed electrolytes. And that was easy compared to Gatorade's formula that came out in 1965. And the second key to the success is people. I mean, we have 400 dedicated employees. Some have been here 10 years, seven years, six days, three years, a year. Um, Sarah, what I'm, I'm most proud of is that the 400, I don't have 400 employees, I have 400 owners. Everybody is a stock, uh, a stock shareholder. Um, and what's special is that I think today my CFO told me half the company will make over a million dollars and everybody else will make over $100,000 to $500,000. To me, uh, my family's always told me about success is best when shared, and knowing that this is a life-changing moment for so many people, our investors, um, it's, it's a really, really special day.